Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for being part of this weather community. Now, let's get right to it. It's this area here we're watching. There are some shifts in the track that I am monitoring, and uh, I'll show you why and what that means for us. Not just kind of uh, some of the shifts and in, in, in that sort of thing, but what it means for us specifically island by island. I want to get into that, get into the timing of that. This here is racing off to the west. It is moving very quickly. With that, that changes the outlook for some of us. So I want to get into the updated rain and winds and show you the icon model which has done a really good job of the systems uh, this year and importantly some new areas that are now kind of under the action mode where we need to take some action as this area starts to work in so it will become ernesto the national hurricane center calls it a potential cyclone five kind of weird uh, terminology to say the least uh, but it's soon to be ernesto so here's that spot here and you can see it starting to work in now it's not organized yet right a little bit slower to organize, which is good. I don't want it to organize at all, but it looks like it will. So I'll take a slower uh, organization outlook, but it is already bringing in some scattered showers and storms for some of us near Guadeloupe, near Dominica, Martinique, and Barbados. We'll see that too over toward St. Lucia. So this blob moving in, but as it moves closer, it will be organizing as we go throughout the day. Now here's the track of the, from the National Hurricane Center, bringing this up over the U.S. and British Virgin Islands as a tropical storm, but I believe the track should shift a little bit more to the west and we'll see if they do that. Uh, here's why. First off, it's moving so quickly to the west, right at 26 miles per hour, moving very quickly to the west, and it's not organized yet. Systems that aren't as organized, at least to start, typically move a little bit more to the west. So don't just look at the models or somebody else's uh, output, and really look at the environment and what's happening. So as it stands now, this would be the most likely uh, path of this, and we'll see if others kind of uh, shift toward this, but this is what I actually had two days ago, then I kind went back a little bit here. Now I'm back here, but slower development. So what does that mean? That is some slightly better news, of course, uh, over toward Antigua, Barbuda, Guadalupe, uh, Dominica. We're going to get some gusty winds, even parts of St. Lucia uh, back toward Barbados, scattered areas of rain and storms. Not organized, not all of us get it, but we're going to see some tropical storm-like conditions moving in. But as it passes overhead, say it passes overhead Dominica over toward Guadalupe. By the way, Dominica, we should be under uh, some sort of a uh, uh, watch or warning. Also, that wasn't issued at least uh, last I checked. I'm not sure why that's the case either, but Dominica, this could move basically uh, right on top of us. Um, tropical storm-like conditions, and then as it works into the Caribbean, it should strengthen into Ernesto, a tropical storm. Because it's moving quick, I have the track shifted a little bit. Now, it may shift back. We'll see, but as of now, I'm kind of more over here, more toward the Mona Passage, which means the Dominican Republic, a higher likelihood, at least in our uh, eastern section, say uh, Santa so, uh, Santo Domingo off toward the east, a better chance of some tropical storm conditions, then swinging to the north and developing into a hurricane at that point. So as far as action mode goes, still anywhere from Martinique to the north, same areas, Anguilla all the way back through the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, uh, taking preparations for tropical storm conditions and for some extra rain. Now, I let you know what I know and what I don't know. This one's a little trickier. With barrel, uh, it was easier for me to, to kind of give you that advance warning on what was going to happen. I had a very good handle on this. Systems that have yet to really develop, those are a little bit trickier to track, and that's why we're going to together see some shifts on that, but I'm letting you know everything I'm seeing with this. But because I see it shifting a little bit more to the west, that means in the Dominican Republic, it's best to be in action mode, taking some preparations for the potential of tropical storm conditions Wednesday and Wednesday night, and always a variable, uh, the strength of these. That's always tricky to forecast. We've seen things go from nothing to category two, category three hurricane very quickly. Short term, not seeing that, but you know I am watching that behind the scenes. And then this should bring us uh, tropical storm conditions throughout much of the uh, northeastern and parts of the northern Caribbean. Haiti, we're kind of in monitor mode now. We're just kind of watching things in Haiti carefully to see if there's more shifts. And the models did shift. Uh, they were over here uh, overnight this morning. They've shifted a little bit back to the west, kind of bringing this in right on top of Puerto Rico as a tropical storm. But I'm seeing even more a little bit to the west. So again, uh, I anticipate every everything else kind of shifting to the west just because of how quickly this is going. But this could roll right over parts of uh, Guadalupe and uh, Dominica with tropical storm-like conditions, even if it's not named 
some gusty winds at times. You know how it goes in the uh, Caribbean. We'll get some of that squally weather. That would be some rain at times and some gusty winds. And then organizing as it moves very close to the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. So again, I expected a little more of a track closer to the Mona Passage. Now, as far as the strength is concerned, this is uh, one day out in time, two days, three days, four days. In the short term, we're going to continue to see strengthening by tomorrow. It could be a tropical storm at that point. And then down the road, once it especially gets to the north uh, of, uh, say, Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, then it should really strengthen. Things spin a little bit more uh, as they gain latitude, and we'll be seeing that. So here's my new highest wind outlook, and as I promised, I'll keep you up to date on this, and this is different from yesterday. I'm going to make those subtle adjustments as I fine-tune the track and the strength of this. So in the short term, anywhere from Anguilla uh, down through uh, Dominica and Martinique, we're going to get some gusty winds at times, right? Especially where this comes kind of uh, right on top of us, Montserrat, Guadalupe, even Dominica, 45 to 50 mile per hour winds or 70 to 80 kilometers. It's not super organized now, so that's not a constant wind. If you get stuck in those rain bands, uh, you will be getting those gusty tropical storm winds that could cause issues with uh, some of the power grids and uh, whatnot. But other spots may be like, hey, where is the, where is this system? Because it's kind of broken apart, right? Uh, it's just starting to uh, get organized. Then as it continues to approach and starts to make a little more of a curl to the west northwest, that's where the winds could pick up, uh, especially the U.S. of Virgin Islands and, and British Virgin islands we're looking at 60 to about 70 mile per hour winds the potential of that that would be 95 to 135 uh, kilometers and then over toward puerto rico about 70 mile per hour winds that's a potential 135 kilometers an hour that would uh, be tropical storm force could it could it be stronger yeah, it could be stronger, and that's what I'm going to be watching, these very warm water temperatures in here. St. Kitts and Nevis over toward Astatia, Saba, winds will be around 60 miles per hour, 95 kilometers an hour, but it's not one big blob. It's that scattered uh, area of storms, but I want to give you my best outlook now, and I'll update this, and then I'll be fine-tuning the Dominican Republic, even potentially the Turks and Caicos and Haiti, depending on how this track shifts more. Now, this here, the three-day rain total is based off the American model, which has also taken a shift uh, that I was talking about a little bit more to the west, showing that swath of rain back toward the Dominican Republic in Martinique. And that's why Barbados, as I was saying yesterday, St. Lucia, Martinique, I'm, I'm not taking our eye off of anyone with scattered areas of rain that could drop easily 100 to 150 millimeters of rain or four to six inches of rain. Now, we'll see when it kind of makes its curl. I'm not quite sure yet how much rain we're going to get, but the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, we could see some very high totals of six to nine inches of rain, even if it's not super organized, right? We don't need a name system to give us those flooding issues. So that's why we are in action mode, safety first. That's why I do this channel. You don't even need to subscribe. You don't even need to hit the like button. You do what you do. I just care about spreading the word to get the right information out. We've got a sloppy system right now that's going to get better organized and then eventually make that turn up to the north. So as far as the totals go, we could even see some higher totals uh, trying to creep down toward Grenada, seeing how some of those rain bands kind of start to work their way up, but some spots where this kind of works across, that's where we're going to see that uh, mudslide potential and some of that flooding. So that takes care of the impacts. Now let's get into the timing together. I want you covered in every way, and you could go back and pause the video as need be. Let me start in the broad picture, then I'm going to zoom down this is today into tomorrow. Sees kind of a sloppy system tomorrow morning. Whether or not it's named, whether or not it's a tropical depression at that point or storm, we're going to see the rain and storms moving in. And then the American model, which is this, does take it a little bit more to the west. It almost looks like two blobs of rain, right? What happens is sometimes a system that's developing is trying to find where it wants to set up the center. So by Wednesday, and I'll show you this on the closer look, it's showing just kind of a sloppy system uh, becoming a tropical storm moving into either Puerto Rico or the Dominican Republic. There's that shift to the west I was just talking about, and then this will lift up toward the north. Once it lifts to the north, it'll go from a tropical storm into a hurricane. In this map, uh, you'll see it better when I show you the wind map. You could kind of see that circulation, but then you see it right there. Here's Bermuda down the road. Now, Bermuda, what happens down the road, way down the road uh, by the time we get into the weekend, it really hinges on what goes on down here when it starts to take its turn. So, of course, we're watching this in Bermuda. No guarantee it moves in, but there's going to be a powerful system at least nearby. But it's these fronts up here that are helping to block this. Now, here's the Icon model, the German model, which has done a very good job this season 
and did a good job with a barrel, for example, and even Debbie tracking these uh, systems. You see the rain here. Here we are, Barbados, Trinidad. Uh, get over toward uh, Dominica, and you can see this area here. Here are these fronts up here. The fronts can kind of grab it. I'm waiting for this front to eventually turn it to the north, but because it's been going so fast, the ICON model brings it into the northeastern Caribbean tomorrow, starts to develop it as a tropical storm, so it starts to strengthen some tomorrow. We'll have tropical storm-like conditions, regardless if it has a name or not. And then you see it here. Here's Puerto Rico. You can see almost the center of it trying to get near the Mona Passage right there. Just like what I was showing you with the American model, these two models that have done a good job have also shifted more to the west. That would bring in some sloppier weather, some bigger rain bands for parts of the British, U.S. Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico. I am concerned about the flooding, of course, over toward Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, and then it's going to lift it to the north. It's very tricky when these take their turn. So uh, as in subsequent videos, I'll, I'll just tell you, I'll, sh I'll show you the uh, differences, what I had yesterday versus today, and the uh, changes I'm making. But this could get a little closer to the Turks and Caicos. So long it continues to move to the west, if it takes a turn over toward the Dominican Republic, the Turks and Caicos will be watching us later in the week. And then this here is by Friday. Here's Bermuda. And it should become a major hurricane, which would be the second major hurricane of the season, following, of course, uh, a barrel. Now, here's a closer look. So here's a Puerto Rico, you get back toward a Saba. Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica here. Of course, St. Lucia and Barbados have been mentioning us uh, for some of those rain bands, even St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada down through Trinidad. But just to show you the core of this, and this map you'll see a lot better when I show you the uh, winds. I think it's the next map. It's the next map coming up. This is tomorrow morning. Sloppy conditions moving in. Some gusty winds. Keep me posted in the uh, comments. We've had worse, right? We, we definitely had uh, worse. But we're going to see these uh, tropical storm conditions, the uh, gustier winds. This is tomorrow afternoon. And then the American model saying, hey, the sense may be actually to the south of Puerto Rico. All right, you got some big batches of rain here, but this is where it's actually trying to make the center of this uh, sucker, and then this will lift to the north. Now, the European model is still over here. Uh, we'll see how that shifts in its latest runs, but it has it kind of moving through the Mona Passage. This would be the center right in here. This would be by the time we get into Wednesday afternoon, tropical storm conditions for Puerto Rico, monitoring to see if it does get stronger, and then eventually, by the time we get into Wednesday night, that's when this system would kind of lift up to the north and pull to the north. But on Wednesday, even over toward the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, we'd be looking at those tropical storm conditions. Look at it here with the winds, because in this map, we could see the uh, circulation. So this is today. Let me just jump ahead into tomorrow. Kilometers an hour and miles per hour on the map. Now, this is tomorrow morning. Not a super defined center, but it's actually saying, hey, the center may move, or whatever is of the center, may move over uh, Dominica. And then here to the uh, west of Guadalupe, you see the spin right there. This is when it will start to really organize. It's a little bit later than expected in the organization, but by tomorrow night, starting to really organize, there's the center right there. This is by Wednesday morning. That would give us some gustier winds and very heavy rain. Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, there's the center right there. Uh, and then it will start to work its way to the north. A lot of white shading on here. Those would be winds of 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles per hour. I showed you the breakdown on the winds a couple of maps ago, and I'll post that on Instagram so you could have that. And then you see the center of this splitting, or at least very close to the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico by Wednesday afternoon. This makes sense because it's moving so quickly, maybe a little bit more to the west. And then at that point, trying to live to the north. And as it does, it will strengthen, right? So it's going to strengthen. We'll have strong southerly winds. Eastern uh, DR over toward uh, Puerto Rico. Still some gusty winds by the time we get into Thursday morning. So it may take a little more of a track like that, a little bit slower to uh, develop. Now, uh, speaking of which, these water temperatures are so warm. And I know that's always in the back of our minds, right? With all of the systems from the Marias to the uh, Dorians to, to, to Barrel, uh, just how quickly these areas can strengthen. Right now, not super organized, but I know these water temperatures are very warm. The heat content uh, is telling me, this is the fuel, by the way, for these storms. It's not just warm water, but the warm water goes down far in these pockets here, and this is where it's going to roll over. So I do know in the back of my mind, I am watching it, that it could strengthen a little bit quicker. I don't mean that in an alarming way. I'm not seeing that right now, but please know, uh, let me do the worrying. I will worry about that. You just uh, make some of those tropical storm preps, and we'll go from there 
there uh, together. You see the wave heights building, no doubt. Here's meters, here's feet on your side on the uh, side of the screen. So seas will be a mess. Uh, northern, northeastern Caribbean. This is by tomorrow, getting into Wednesday. Here's uh, Puerto Rico. Here's uh, Haiti, Dominican Republic. Everything building about five meters upwards of about 13 feet in spots. Atlantic waters and northern Caribbean. This is on Wednesday, and then by Thursday, as this system lifts to the north and gets stronger brighter colors showing up. We could have some of the seas easily uh, topping uh, about 20 feet in spots as this eventually gets closer to Bermuda, not necessarily moving in. We'll just see how it kind of uh, uh, takes that track up to the north. I'll be watching that, but the seas later this week are definitely going to be building by Bermuda. Now watching everyone, Costa Rica, Panama, better chance of scattered showers and storms today. Jamaica, I'm not seeing this coming right into our direction. I expect to turn before, same thing in eastern Cuba, uh, but it, we'll, we'll see how this all shakes out. It should eventually make the turn, but as I see this westerly trend, watching that as well, and you see here, this is by the time we get into Wednesday afternoon, the center should be somewhere in here as a, a tropical storm at that point scattered storms for us in Belize. And then this area on Thursday, lifting up to the north and intensifying. So here are the Turks and Caicos, Southern Bahamas. Uh, if this does continue to make that westerly turn a little bit more uh, near the Mona Passage or near uh, the Dominican Republic, that could bring us some of the impacts later in the week over toward the Turks and Caicos. So we're kind of monitoring this monitor mode for the Turks and Caicos and Southern Bahamas. Couple blobs here, Eastern Pacific, not seeing signs of uh, immediate development and the Atlantic region of Canada also watching this system because there will be that eventual turn short term uh, seeing some of those scattered showers and storms this is tomorrow Newfoundland uh, back through uh, New Brunswick we may get a few showers and storms there's that front offshore giving us some extra rain as well for uh, Bermuda in the short term Wednesday looking good but all eyes on what's going on down to the south so Jamaica for us today scattered areas of rain and storms Cayman Islands we're looking at a 20 to 30 percent chance 40 to 50 percent chance of scattered showers and storms Trinidad and Tobago and you see the rain chance uh, bumping up. This is the scattered stuff. Some of us won't get a whole lot. Others will get more and kind of get that feel of those tropical storm conditions. St. Lucia included. We're up to 70% chance tomorrow. Uh, Barbados and St. Lucia. Grenada could see some scattered showers and storms for us. 50% chance uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And you see this system reflected uh, tomorrow in Martinique. We get over toward uh, Dominica, Guadeloupe, as I was highlighting the winds and that rain potential with this system moving in. So I want you to save. We're making those tropical storm uh, preparations over toward Guadeloupe. Now, as you get back toward Antigua and Barbuda, some of this will kind of, uh, it's, it's kind of broken on the north side, but we'll see some of the areas of rain and storms uh, kind of wrapping around. Uh, we'll get some of those gusty winds at times, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat. Stronger winds at times for us tomorrow. And Gwilin, St. Bart's, the winds will be picking up. And you see St. Uh, St. Martin, uh, Saba, and Stacia, higher winds tomorrow showed you that wind map. Now, as we get back toward Puerto Rico, we're looking at Wednesday of the tropical storm conditions moving in. Later tomorrow into Wednesday, tropical storm conditions, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, especially southern tier as you get back toward uh, St. Croix. Bahamas, most of this action looks to stay to the east as of now, watching the southern Bahamas, though, and watching the Turks and Caicos for late in this week. Dominican Republic, again, a higher chance we start to get some effects of this uh, in our eastern sections by the time we get into Wednesday and Thursday, keeping a very close eye on Haiti. 30 to 40 percent chance of some scattered showers and storms back through Belize, Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. The rain chance is going to stay low over the next couple days. 40 to 50 percent chance as we get through Guyana and about a 30 to 40 percent chance in Suriname. 30 to 40 percent chance in Cuba and about a 60 percent chance of rain the next couple of days Costa Rica and uh, Panama Nicaragua 40 to 50 percent chance and a 40 to 50 percent chance right across Honduras rain chance 50 to 60 percent bumping up a little bit Guatemala El Salvador and a 50 to 60 percent chance in Mexico City 40 to 50 percent chance of some scattered showers uh, across the Yucatan and Mexico northern Colombia a 30 percent chance 40 percent chance the next couple of days in northern Venezuela and you see the rain chance a little higher in Bermuda and all lot on this uh, developing system. So this area is really racing to the west. That is one of the changes moving a little faster and that does change the track and some of the conditions we're going to feel, feel. That's what I was spelling out. So the track may shift a little bit more because there's no true center to it yet. Still kind of trying to develop and find its center, but we'll fine tune that uh, together. Tropical storm conditions though, uh, moving in as we go over the next uh, couple of days for many of us and just waiting and kind of watching when that 
turn will happen, but I'm going to be able to give you that heads up uh, sooner. And that's why I was showing you that it could shift a little more uh, toward the uh, Mona Passage uh, as we work our way over the next few days. So there's going to be more changes. This is a developing area. A system that's super organized is easier to track than a developing area. So thank you for your patience as we track this together. And thank you for spreading the word about this uh, system. So I'll try to get to those comments throughout the day. Uh, thank you for being part of this channel. Have a good and safe day ahead.